Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will clone control repo and will place it into our GitHub account repo, to manage your puppet code and data. You need a git version control repository. This control repository is where code management stores code and data to deploy your environments. Without Git or any other version control it was not easy to manage your code and environments. So how does control repository works? Code management relies on version control to track, maintain, and deploy your puppet code and data. The control repository, or repo, is the Git repository that code management uses to manage environments in your infrastructure. As you update code and data in your control repo, code management keeps each of your environments updated. Code management creates and maintains your environments based on the branches in your control repo. For example, if your control repo has a production branch, a development branch, and a testing branch, code management creates a production environment a development environment and a testing environment each with its own version of your puppet code and data environments are created in slash etc slash puppet lab slash code slash environments caution enabling code management means that puppet manages the environment directories and existing environments are not preserved environments with the same name as the new one are overwritten Environments not represented in the control repo are erased. If you were using environments before, commit any necessary files or code to the appropriate new control repo branch, or back them up somewhere before you start configuring code management. There are two ways to configure your control repo. First you can download the control repo module from Puppet Forge or you can create your own module, in this lab I am going to use the forge module, first you need to generate a private SSH key to allow access to the control repository. This SSH key gen command will generate the public key, rsa.pub and the private key, id.rsa public key you need to place in your github account your public key in github settings ssh and gpg keys click on ssh keys give a name to your ssh keys and place the public key you have generated before now it's time to clone the puppet control repo from the command line create a folder where you want to clone the repo Now clone the puppet control repo template. Run git clone and give the repo name, once the content are downloaded locally. You have to remove the remote template repository as your default source. So run git remote v. To check the remote repo status and done git remote remove origin. To remove the repo. As we will not manage any data script or site from this module. So just remove them to make module look more readable. Now it's time to create control repository in your GitHub account so click on Create new repository. Provide the name as environment config and click on create repository. Now clone the remote repository using ssh not https as if you will select https it will always prompt for username and password. So to avoid this we have already copied our ssh keys and github account in this lab itself. Now copy the git remote add command to add your repo in local server where we have the control repo downloaded. 
Now commit the changes in control repo as we have deleted the files in control repo. Switch to production branch and push the changes in your environment config repo. Refresh the page and you will see the complete module in your production branch. Ok, so in this lecture we have added the control repo. So if you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to enable code manager.